All right, here's a quick hack this morning just to, to go over how to start a job using T-SQL. Um, you can just use the MSDB database, go and then do the uh, system store procedure, SP start job, and then the job name, and you can kick it off. This is really useful, and it varies by when you want to do this, but if you want to uh, kick off a job, when you kick off a job like this, it's going to immediately say, you know, completed command, and then the job will start, right? So give a really good example of this. Let's say at the end of a snapshot on your replication, snapshot replication, if you run a huge massive script that takes a while, it still has to communicate back to that distribution database. And so what ends up happening is you bottleneck that out, right? So one of the ways in which you can get around that, depending on the type of script you're running, if it's a fast script, that's no big deal, but you can also kick off a job because it will release off of that distribution database. So anytime you're in a situation where you're tying up resources from server to server, just consider in T-SQL using um, the SP start job because when you do that, then you can release those resources. Now there are some times where maybe a job isn't the greatest thing to be using, but just consider that this is just one of those development hacks that you can use in certain situations that's very appropriate.